Greetings! Today we're going to be discussing the path of blood as it moves through all of the chambers of the heart. All right, so we are going to be returning blood to the heart and we're going to be doing so through either the inferior vena cava, which is over here, or the superior vena cava. Keep in mind that this blood is deoxygenated, okay? In turn, blood will fill the right atrium to then go through a door, what I call a door, which will be your tricuspid valve, also known as the right atrioventricular valve. In turn, blood will now fill the right ventricle to then upon contraction, and this is still deoxygenated blood, will go through the pulmonary semilunar valve to then go through the pulmonary trunk and then send the blood that is still deoxygenated to the lungs via the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary arteries. Now, we have to turn this model around so that you can see the right pulmonary artery and you can see it right over here, okay? All right, so now that blood has acquired oxygen in the right and left lungs, and has dumped off the carbon dioxide that you are exhaling, exhaling. Now you're going, the red blood cell will capture the oxygen and return all of that oxygenated blood via the right and left pulmonary veins. And the, here is the left pulmonary vein, pulmonary veins, and here are the right pulmonary veins over here. Pulmonary veins, right pulmonary veins. They all are going to dump their oxygenated blood into the, into the left atrium. Keep in mind that this oxygenated blood has entered through the entry points of the right pulmonary veins over here and also the left pulmonary veins over here, which are the entry points. Now the blood that is newly oxygenated will travel through the left atrioventricular valve, also known as the mitral valve, also known as the bicuspid valve, okay? Now the blood will fill the left ventricle. This is now oxygenated blood in this entire left region of the heart. Now it will travel through the aortic semilunar valve to then travel up through the ascending aorta, aortic arch, and descending aorta, okay? Now it is important to note that blood that is being returned via the inferior vena cava is being returned from any organ that is underneath or inferior to the diaphragm. And any blood that is being returned from any organ above or superior to the diaphragm is going to be returned via the superior vena cava. In both cases, this is blood that is deoxygenated. A quick recap here, the oxygenated blood is going to be returned to the heart via either the inferior or superior vena cava and will end up filling up the right atrium to then go through the right atrioventricular valve or the tricuspid valve. Then that blood will fill the right ventricle. Upon contraction of the right ventricle, that blood will go through the pulmonary semilunar valve, this is still the oxygenated blood, and then we'll, this blood will travel through the pulmonary trunk, then onto the right and left pulmonary arteries. And here's the right pulmonary artery shown here. Now blood will acquire its oxygen, get rid of the CO2, and that blood will return through the right and left pulmonary veins. And here's the left pulmonary, here are the left pulmonary veins. And here are the right pulmonary veins. They will be dumping the ox oxygenated, they will be dumping their oxygenated blood into the left atrium, then go through the left atrioventricular valve, also known as mitral valve, also known as bicuspid valve, and end up filling the left ventricle. And then upon contraction, the blood will travel through the aortic semilunar valve, now that oxygenated blood will travel through the ascending aorta, aortic arch, descending aorta, aorta, 
to then follow a pass through the path through the thoracic aorta and abdominal aorta to have its first branching of the celiac trunk. Very important celiac trunk, okay? Hmm. All right, well, good luck, and I hope this helps. Take care, guys. One last thing I want to mention is that the pulmonary circuit is accomplished by the right side of the heart because we are sending the oxygenated blood to the right and left lung, okay, via the pulmonary trunk and the pulmonary arteries. And the systemic circuit is accomplished by the left side of the heart, which is going to be sending blood to the aorta. And, um, and this blood is going to be oxygenated and this blood will be sent to every tissue of the body.